Yeah, so where was I? Man, I keep finding hair in my mouth. Seriously, since I've woken up, I've found no less than seven hairs floating around in the dark, unsearched recesses of my face hole. Face hole. I've since arrived at the conclusion that I either A, had a dream where I was a cat, or B, I'm finally a man and this just happens to be the last step on the journey toward a manly body covered in hair. I think that's the last stop, at least. Until inner ear hair, of course, which means I'm an old man. Or foot top hair, which would mean I've somehow become a hobbit. Oh, look at you, Griff, being all nonchalant about returning to your video blog two months after its apparent conclusion. Now, before you get all excited, because sadly a three and a half minute video of me talking about hair and crap is the highlight of your day, allow me to make one thing clear. This will not be a daily thing. I've journeyed down that road, butt kickers, and let me tell you, it is a long and arduous trek where the daily productivity is nice, but you hate every day because of it. Man, it took me seven hours to do that sandwich video. I am committed. Man, I spent seven hours doing that sandwich video. I should be committed. So yeah, bi-weekly videos, probably, meaning two per week, as opposed to semi-weekly, meaning one per fortnight. And if I have those two terms mixed up, here's a list of things I care less about. Done. Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's February 29, the 60th day of 2012, and the elusive leap day. Leap Day, for those of you desperately wanting to be intimately acquainted with the Gregorian calendar, comes around once every four years. Unless, of course, the year number is evenly divisible by 100. Unless, unless, of course, the year in question is evenly divisible by 400. So that means 1900 wasn't a leap year, but 2000 was. For the record, today's video mostly exists to make 2011 with Griff a daily video series suitable for every year for the foreseeable future. You just have to add a year to anniversaries and birthdays and whatnot, and forgive all of the no longer relevant jokes. However, I pretty much covered February 29 in my March 1 video last year, so I don't have too much to add to it today. And so, I ask that you cross the threshold into this new dimension. A dimension of non-sequiturs, badly written scripts, and some third thing. You've entered the new segment of this program. You've entered the Tangent Zone. So I was thinking the other day, wouldn't English be just that much better if all the parts of speech were those parts of speech? For example, the word noun is a noun, which is all fine and dandy, but I want to be able to verb something. And to take it a step farther, I want to be able to verb something adverbly. If I could verb something adverbly, I would be adjective. And the word interjection would always be followed by an exclamation point. Conjunction then, we'd have this language preposition the bag. As for the definitions of these parts of speech, well, it's simple, really. To verb means to do something undetermined to something else. Oh, wait, I guess that would be to transitive verb. Oh, whatever. And if you do said something adverbally, well, then you're doing it to an extent which is also undetermined. To be adjective is to have a defining characteristic that's important enough to call into notice, but trivial enough not to identify specifically. A <laughs> word just underlined the word adjective in that last sentence, so I right-clicked it, and it said... Adjective use. Consider revising. How very unintentionally meta of you, Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Welcome back, butt kickers. Until next time, I'm Griff, and I'm still talking.